What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. In this video, we're taking a quick look at some of the rendering updates in Keyshot Studio 2024.3. Among other updates to Keyshot Studio, one of the latest and greatest is the addition of progressive denoising. If you've ever worked with detailed scenes that are brightly lit, you'll know that sometimes rendering those scenes out requires a lot of computing power, time, or both. Features like GPU rendering and denoise help cut that time down significantly, and can also help to quickly reduce hotspots, noise, or fireflies that might otherwise go unresolved. However, you may have noticed that using denoise in past versions sometimes resulted in highlights being knocked down, particularly when using Bloom, and some of those finer details being lost due to overworking. Well, in 2024.3, that is a thing of the past. Our latest version of Keyshot Studio introduces progressive denoising for both still images and animations. Let's take a quick look at each of those individually. If you look at the image currently on your screen, you can see the difference between the original material texture of this tire before denoising and the end result of denoising with 2024.2 and prior versions. You can see that a significant amount of the tire's texture has been washed out due to the denoising process. On the other hand, the image now on your screen shows a comparison between the non-denoised version of the tire and the progressively denoised version from 2024.3 you'll notice that they are virtually indistinguishable. The material texture has held up really well, and there is no noticeable loss of detail. For quick reference, let's also look at the version denoised in 2024.2 side by side to see just how significant the difference between the two is. Now that we've talked about denoising single images, let's take a look at progressive denoising of animations. If you've tried using denoise for animations in previous versions, you may have encountered the dreaded flicker within high contrast areas of your scene. The reason for that flicker is that an animation is simply a series of still images rendered out as frames. When denoise was applied to those frames in previous versions, the feature would try to resolve each frame independently without accounting for the frames coming before or after. This often resulted in slight differences frame to frame that appear as flickering during playback. You can see an example of what that looks like in the video on screen now. Notice the darker areas of the scene, namely the green seat cushions and black monitors in the back, show the most flickering within the animation. In 2024.3, progressive denoising solves this issue by accounting for frames in sequence more effectively. The result is a smoother animation that significantly cuts down on noticeable flicker, which you can see on your screen now. And for comparison, here they are side by side. Using denoise can significantly cut down the time required to output both still images and animations, and the benefits can be seen in multiples when it comes to animation specifically. So next time you have a tight deadline or just value both speed and accuracy in your workflows, don't hesitate to use Denoise. Keep on the lookout for upcoming Keyshot Quick Tips, and as always, stay tuned, happy rendering, and we'll see you in the next one.